I have a question for you. What if you took everything you knew about living your best life, about happiness, about health and fitness, about success and productivity, and what if you lived all of that? My guess is you'd be a regular superhero, but we don't usually live all of that, do we? So the problem isn't really about knowledge, it's about something else entirely. What if I told you there might be a way to essentially hack yourself and make it easy to actually follow through on all of the things you know would make a huge difference in your life? Chances are your skepticism might have just flown through the roof. Mine probably would have too hearing that. But here is something interesting that happened to me. A while back, I went through a rut. My productivity was really low. I fell off the fitness and nutrition wagon in a big way. I just felt stuck. And one night I started having this conversation with myself. Mike, you know what you need to do, but you're not doing it. What if you coached yourself on that problem? What would you try right now that you've never tried before? And suddenly, completely out of the blue, spontaneously, something came to me and I implemented it that night, actually with quite a bit of skepticism but the next day was incredible. And not just the next day either. I watched this approach not only break me out of a huge rut, but it also catalyzed the richest phase of my life. Launching a business and releasing two books in under a year, freeing myself from this entrenched sugar habit I had, getting myself back into a robust fitness regimen and a bunch more. And this approach that I'm talking about is a system for productivity and personal change that I call Coach's Plan. And so for the price of about a cup of coffee, one hour of your time, you can get my new book, Coach's Plan, The Personal Productivity System That Changed My Life. And you can implement it in your life today. Find it at MikeCav.com. One hour, cup of coffee, return on that investment, to me is pretty clear. Even if it gave you one amazing week, of superstar results. Even one amazing day has to be worth one hour, one cup of coffee. Truth is, I never expected to write a book like this. This isn't typically my thing. And I treat my time as extremely precious, as I hope you do too. And so the decision of writing or releasing a book, any kind of book, is not something that I take lightly. But I felt compelled to do it because the coach's plan system has helped me so much in rising above all these age-old human challenges. And the productivity and the personal habit change and the well-being that I've personally experienced from it made me feel like I had to share it with other people because I know that it can help people. So you can find the book through MikeCav.com, M-I-K-E-K-A-V.com. Ebook, paperback, audiobook, it is super streamlined for busy people. Truly, all it takes is having enough curiosity to run a little experiment in your life called Coach's Plan. I know this thing's going to change some lives, so please consider reading it, reviewing it, and helping pay it forward. And now, if you're interested, one of the sample chapters of the book, Chapter 4, Retire the Player Coach. When most of us get down to business in daily life, we become the player coach. By get down to business, I'm talking about when you switch into productive mode in your personal or professional life and work to accomplish any of the goals or tasks you set for yourself for the day. Exercising running errands, making work calls, completing work deliverables. By player coach, I mean exactly what that means in any other domain. You're the player and you're the coach. The player side of you is the doer. It's the executor. The coach side of you sets your plan, determines your schedule, and makes higher order decisions. Here's the crux of the productivity and habit change challenges most of us face as human beings. Throughout the day, you are confronted with decision points. Should I tackle these emails right now or should I make that call? Should I work out now or later? Should I eat a salad for lunch or should I have what I really feel like eating? I'm slowing down on this work task. Should I keep going until I finish or should I switch and come back to it during my next block of free time this afternoon? At each one of these points, the player coach makes a choice. What determines which decision you make? Innumerable conscious and subconscious drivers. Logical evaluation your motivation levels, your energy levels, your intuition, your conscious determination of what's best, your mood, your willpower, your stress levels. 
your decision is dictated by whatever combination of drivers is strongest in the moment. So, within the player-coach metaphor, who determines your decision? Sometimes it's the player. Sometimes it's the coach. Sometimes it's happenstance. I think you see the issue. The factors determining whether a given decision is a good choice or a poor choice in retrospect are unlikely to be consistently tuned for optimal decision making. I think you feel the issue too, don't you? Who doesn't? Our productivity levels ebb and flow quite a lot. So does the degree to which we follow through with our many goals and aspirations. That's because the level of our goal achievement and overall productivity is the direct result of summing up all those tiny little decisions we're making along the way. Most of us believe this just is how it is. It's part of being a human. I certainly did. And of course, there's truth to it. But what most of us don't realize is that our default tendency is to approach this issue in the wrong way. We put the onus of responsibility on the player coach in the moment. For example, to increase the quality and quantity of our work output in any given hour, we focus on how we can improve our motivation levels or how we can fight procrastination. Or here's another example. To improve the quality of our dietary choices, we focus on how we can increase our discipline and our willpower. In other words, we try to find ways to become a better player coach in the moment. It turns out there is a far better approach. Retire the player coach. That's right. Thank the player coach for all their solid effort over the years and bid them a fond farewell. You can retire their jersey if you'd like. They've gotten you this far. But your team is under new management. And management runs things differently. The way management runs things is to embrace your two selves and what each of them does best, to articulate clear roles for each self, and to give each of them a defined set of responsibilities. To begin with, management has hired a new coach. That coach knows their place, and it isn't on the field. It's on the sidelines, doing what coaches do best. Management has also hired a new player. That player knows their place as well, and it's exclusively on the field, following coach's plan. All right, that's a little sampler for you. And if you are interested in diving in, please visit MikeCab.com, read it, review it, live it, and I thank you.